One of the most important things to pay attention to on the Photoshop CC 2015 exam is when you get a simulation question, know if they're asking for a destructive or non-destructive edit and make sure you understand the difference between the two. I'm going to do one of each on this SCHC card. Here's the goal to hide this text. So I've already got a selection ready to go. I'm just going to load it. So I'll go to select, I'll click load selection and it's this SDHC card selection, so I'll click OK. So the first edit that I'm going to do on this is a destructive edit. Now, since this is a selection, I'm going to select the lasso tool. I'm going to right click on the selection that I loaded, and I'm going to click Fill. And for the contents, I'll go with Color. Clicking the drop down arrow here, we have a few other choices, but I'll just go with Color. And I'm going to select a color that's already on this card right here and I'll click OK twice. And so that area has been replaced with that color. But notice that no extra layer was created. So if I were to save this and come back to it, say, a week later, I would have no way of getting this text back. That's a destructive edit. The only thing we can do is go to Edit and undo this. If we save it and bring this back a week later, it's too late. The edit's done. Now, if you're asked to do a non-destructive edit, think Adjustment Layer. There's all kinds of layers that you can add to photos, and adjustment layers are non-destructive edits because those layers can be gotten rid of later. Same adjustments, except this time we're going to do it in a non-destructive fashion. I've got the adjustments up here. I'm going to go down to the adjustment layers, and I'm going to go with solid color. And I'm just going to use the same color we used earlier and click OK. And you'll notice the second layer was created. Now, we call this a non-destructive edit because, first, we can hide and show this at will. Secondly, if we decide we don't want this adjustment anymore, all we have to do is drag it to the trash can. So when you get test questions on this, pay close attention to whether they are asking for a destructive edit or a non-destructive edit. And by the way, here's a tip. If they're asking for a destructive edit, you're probably going to either use a right click or the menus up above. And if they're asking for a non-destructive edit, it is always going to be in the form of an adjustment layer.